Welcome to Around the Dog World in Home Park, just a few hundred yards from where the Queen calls home Windsor Castle. We're here this weekend to watch the country's best dogs going head to head at Windsor Championship Dog Show. Here in Home Park on the banks of the Thames and overlooked by Windsor Castle, 8,000 dogs will be narrowed down to just seven in Best in Show, where Rennie Sporwillis will make just one of them King or Queen of Windsor Championship Dog Show. Now, before we take a look at any of the dogs at Windsor this weekend, we need to take a look at the latest Best in Show winners. And joining us, as usual, Di Johnson. Thank you very much for joining us, Di. Hello, Simon. Now, last time we were out was Bath Championship Show. The following week was Southern Counties. Ron James, Best in Show judge, awards an incredible 13th All Breeds Best in Show to Oliver the Wire Fox Terrier. Champion Travella Striking Steel. Is there any stopping him? I don't know. He's a great dog, isn't he? Bang on form. But there are always youngsters coming on and new dogs appearing. Um, I don't think he's got it all his own way, Simon. No, and speaking of youngsters, quite the opposite the following week. We went to Malvern for Three Counties Championship Show and a dog with such a successful and prolonged yeah. career, yes. champion yeah. edge Sing yeah. Blues, yes. wins his first ever Best in mm. Show. Now that's another aspect of showing, isn't it? This dog has been a consistent winner. In fact, I think he broke the record on the day. Yes. He's a born show dog. He loves every minute of it. And how nice to see him rewarded to beat Oliver as well. Oh. Must be, you know, something of a thrill. Yes. And <laughs> under a judge that has a lot of respect, Mark Kokosa, first best in show. What a thrill to find a dog like that to please yeah. him. Lovely result. Very popular, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and an, another popular breed, uh, the Doberman. The following week, Board of Union, we were in Kelso, yeah. um, and we saw Seb that won best in show at Bath on our last programme, doing it yeah. again. Yeah, and with a different handler. Yeah. He's a very handsome, masculine dog, and he's going to appeal to people who like masculine, <laughs> handsome Dobermans. Yes, good luck to him, he looked very well. And just last week, the crowd stayed north, this time for Blackpool Championship yeah. Show. Yeah. We watched champion Longsdale Genuine win a group at Welks since she's won her first Best in Show, the first ever for a German Spitz Klein, and she's gone and done it again yeah. as well. Yeah, another deserved win. How these people are able to keep these dogs in this, the bloom, the condition, <laughs> She's a little star, isn't she? Yeah. Um, and I think we were all pleased to see her win. It was an exciting show. Hopefully we get the same sort of action here this weekend at Windsor. Yeah. Rene Sporvillis will pick the next Best in Show winner on the show calendar. But first, let's see where that leaves us on the top dog table. No surprises, leading the way is Oliver the Wire Fox Terrier and was leading at this time last year but went on to finish just two points behind overall winner Ricky Standard Poodle. Our current runner-up is last week's big winner Jen the German Spitz, followed by two toy dogs, the smooth coat chihuahua Misty and Eric the Peak. Pearl the Norwegian Elk Count is running fifth with double best in show winner Doberman Seb in sixth. Tied on points with Sid the Sheltie and the male Shiba Inu Jean-Paul Gautier. In ninth is Red Witch Will I Am the Akita and tenth top dog all breeds is Josseter Mr Blobby. Di, last time out at Bath the weather played a, a big part in the weekend but Windsor always seems to have the good weather booked, doesn't it? Yes, it is a lucky show, isn't it? <laughs> it's something to do with it being in the Queen's Garden. There's a graciousness, the pims and the ice cream, and it, it's, it's just a garden party atmosphere. It is. But with nothing to hold us back, we go straight to the main ring for the first groups of the weekend, the toy group judged by Liz Stanley. So, first of all, shortlisted finalists is the Long Coat Chihuahua. Sent through to the group by Susan Lee. This is the dog number 1499. Bruce Jackson's selection of the Chinese Crested. This is the bitch number 1722. And the Havanese, judged today by Pauline Sidgwick. This is a dog number 1866. And the Italian Greyhound, judged by Dagmar Tennis Warden. This is a dog number 1941. Andrea Schemmel selection, the Japanese Chin, 1947. This is a dog. 
another male here, the Papillon, sent through by Nigel Marsh, triple two seven. Chosen by Andrew Box, it's the Pekingese dog, number 2321. And Michael Quinney's selection in the parks, this dog, number 2479. And the winner of the toy group, Windsor 2014, is the Japanese Jin. In second spot in the toy group is the long coat chihuahua. And third place in the toy group goes to the pug. Number 2479. And in fourth spot is the Pekingese. Well done to the Papillon, the Italian Greyhound, the Havanese and the Chinese Crested. Congratulations, and we'll see the Japanese gym back here on Sunday evening for our finale. Congratulations, Tony. A fantastic group win with damage. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, absolutely delighted. A bit of a state of shock, really, but uh, <laughs> he um, did group two um, a couple of weeks ago, and now to group, group one, so it's a bit of a bit of a shock. So H hitting a bit of form. Yeah, yeah, I felt he was on form. He really did enjoy himself today. <laughs> and I thought, well, if I get shortlisted, he's really done well. And obviously, it's um, delighted to be, you know, to get the group. Yeah. Chins are a breed I've never had a lot to do with, but in groups, I've always <laughs> liked them. They have that look. And I think a chin has everything there to see. There's nothing to hide. It's got this sweet face. If it's right, it's got this lovely, quirky expression. If they sound, they're very, very good. They've got to have fine bone, but they shouldn't be, you know, so fine like the chicken bone. They, they look as though they could do something. And they always have the most super temperaments. As um, a youngster, he won five best in shows at open shows. Cruff's best of breed as well. And um, this is his 10th time today as best of breed. So he's done quite a lot of winning. He's only three, so he's still young. And it, it, quite a statement to pick two high-profile breeds in the placings as well. It is, it is. But I've had a lot to do with the high-profile breeds. I've had a lot to do with the health schemes for all of them. And I can, you know, I could stand and answer questions about either of those two breeds because I feel I know enough about them and I think they were both excellent representations of their breed. So, I know that Renea will no doubt move these dogs one more time. Put your hands together, please, for the Basenji sent through by Nick Bryce Smith, number 77. Having a shake there, the best of breed winning Basenji. And the second of the shortlisted dogs is the Basset Fove. Ben Reynolds Frost was our judge today, and this is a bitch number 86. The Basset Griffon Vendian Grand. Set through by Jean Malley. This is a dog, number 114. The Basset Griffon Vendian Petit, sent through by Jetta Vindramba. This is a dog, number 156. And Gladys Mead's selection in the miniature white hair Daxon was this dog, number 610. Chosen by Dagmar Kennis Horden was this Deerhound. Another dog, number 628. And now it's the turn of the Saluki. The choice of Anne Birrell in the breed, this is a bitch, number 975. And now it's the turn of the Whippet. Jackie Whitaker Crosby's selection in the breed. This is another bitch, number 187. The winner of the Hound Group is the Basset Griffon Vendian Petit. And Group 2, it's the Whippet, number 1066. And group three, it's the Basenji. And fourth in the Hound group, it's the Saluki. 
Well done to the other four shortlisted dogs. The winner of the Hound Group wins a 2014 the Bassé Griffon Bondian Petit, followed by the Whippet, the Basenji and the Saluki. Well, Sarah, last time we spoke to you, it was in the lobby of the Hilton at the NEC. Jilly won Best in Short Crafts. This is the first group win since. You looked elated in there. It's, yeah, it's, I, was, I was gobsmacked, I have to say. He's only a young dog. He's 21 months. Um, I only made him up at Crofts, so he is a young, inexperienced dog. So I can't tell you how delighted <laughs> I am. He's just, I'm just over the moon. You've, you've also got other dogs on their way up as well. I had a, a few placings, so you must be very pleased with your, your team at the moment. Absolutely. We're really excited about um, the team that we've got coming through. Um, obviously, as some people probably know, we've got Peekaboo Mini Me. Um, she is a spitting image. She is in colouring, certainly attitude, <laughs> naughtiness as well. So we're really excited about campaigning her. But back to Nobby, he's the, he's the man of the moment. And tell us a little bit more about him. He's now sitting on five tickets, a couple of group placings. He was a Pup of the Year finalist as yes, well back yeah, in yeah. February, where he made down, I think it's to the last seven or eight. He's been really consistent in the breed. And today is just, like I say, I'm just absolutely elated. You certainly look surprised. Yeah. <laughs> and he couldn't have done any more for me. He went fantastic. Good morning, everybody. This is the third edition of A Stockman's Eye. Um, this time we're being filmed, so possibly it might be my last. <laughs> now, when they're made reasonably well and trained physically, like you would a gymnast, which is really all that dressage is, you end up with something that stays sound for a very great deal longer. So said she would catch some people out too, didn't I? <laughs> She's a good girl, are you are. She says, I know you love me, Auntie Patricia. Good old Buzz. Trick trot, trick trot. You can see that with the butcher's cart on the back, can't you? You know, what a fabulous walk. Welcome back to Around the Dog World. It's Windsor Championship Dog Show 2014. It's day two and we've got two more groups to look forward to today. But first, we need to welcome back Di Johnson to take a look at yesterday's groups. And with Di, another lady that is used to sitting next to me all the time, it's Marina Scott, <laughs> yesterday's Beagle judge. How was your judging? It was absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it. I've been looking forward to it for such a long time that Banner today feels a little bit flat, if you can <laughs> say that. <laughs> and a, a first CC appointment is quite a major step in a judge's career. It is, it is. Well, the highlight of your career. Um, I've spent probably about 16 years travelling up and down the country, getting my numbers, passing my exams, doing all the necessary criteria that the Kennel Club puts in force to be given this invitation about three or four years ago. And having Windsor be my first show to do Beagles is amazing because it's one of my favourite shows. It was an amazing day. Well, here's to many more, but Di, yeah. Do you remember your first CC appointment? I do. I remember being just as excited as Marina. <laughs> Mine was um, the Great Dane Club Championship Show, and it was held in Alexandra Palace. And wow. it was a huge dance floor hall, so the floor was bouncy for the dancers, <laughs> and I'm moving Danes, which are, you know, hefty animals. Yeah, and I was just as excited as you, Marina, and it's good to see you are excited, because it is the greatest compliment you can be paid to ask to award CCs. Mm. And you watched me a bit yesterday, I didn't did. you, Di? I, I felt I the pressure, I have yeah. to say. I did. Well, you impressed with your command of the ring, your total concentration, and your bravery. Thank you. <laughs> fine it's words, Bahia. It's very fine words indeed. Um, th there were more fine dogs yesterday, apart from your best of breed beagle, of course. Of course. Um, the Hound Group winner was yes. the PBGV. Sarah Robertson handles yet yeah. another Hound Group winner. Yeah. And Little Star. 
Um, the Robertsons not only breed good dogs, they have a way of training puppies to get the optimum movement. And of course that breed's supposed to wag that tail, tick, 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 all the time, which he did. Yeah. A pleasure to watch. Well, following the hound group, the toy group was judged by Liz Stannard, Stannard yes. and we saw quite an unusual breed take the group, a Japanese chin. Japanese chin, but outstanding, wasn't it? Beautiful, beautiful little dog. And the second was lovely, wasn't it? A long chew out. It was a good group. You know, there were, you could have found seven group winners, I feel, in that group. And Liz, again, a very experienced toy judge. Yeah, we had two good groups last night. Let's hope it continues. Let's go to the main ring to see the first group of day two, the Terrier group. So it was Anne Bradley's choice of the Australian Terriers, 2609. Selected by Simon Jackson, this is the Border Terrier, 2680. Russell Lamanby sent us through the Ball Terrier, 2773. And Paul Keeble judged the Dandy Dimonts, and this is 2849. Marcia Foreman's selection in the wires was this male, 29.38. So this is the Lakeland sent through by Martin Phillips, 2.986. And this and the Dandy are the only two bitches to make the shortlist in tonight's final. In fact, in all of the finals, there were only two females to come through. So this is a dog this time sent through from Tan de Grecia. It's the Norwich Terrier, number 3069. And alphabetically bringing up the rear, it's the Welsh Terrier, sent through by Warren Bradley, 3315. So if we could have the balls in place, please. The winner of the Terrier group at Windsor 2014 is... The Y Haired Fox Terrier, congratulations. Second in the Terrier group. It's the Lakeland Terrier. And third in the Terrier group. It's the Welsh Terrier. And fourth is the Norwich Terrier. Well done to the Dandy, the Ball, the Border, and the Australian. Congratulations to the Wyhair Fox Terrier, the fourth of our finalists at the Windsor 2014. Congratulations, Richard. Another win with Oliver, the Wyhair Fox, but this time at Windsor, which is... Is it a good show for you? Uh, I love Windsor's show. Uh, I think everybody loves Windsor, but it's never been a lucky show for me, so today it's changed. So was uh, Oliver here last year? Yeah, he was here last year, but he was not successful in the breed, so... Uh, Different day, different dogs, different judge. And also a different handler as well, because the last time we saw the dog on the programme, um, Bill Brown Cole was on the end of the lead. He, I like to say he did a mighty fine job as well. Yeah, he reminds me of that very regularly, <laughs> that he's only shown him twice and he's unbeaten, so uh, <laughs> the, there's no pressure when he's... <laughs> no, absolutely not. So what are you going to be doing between now and Sunday? Is there a lot of preparation to go with him? He'll, he'll have a good uh, bath tomorrow, and then he'll probably have another bath on Sunday morning, and he'll play and rest up and just be his normal self yeah, well best of luck um, potentially going what for the 14th best in show win we'll keep trying we'll keep our fingers crossed <laughs> it'd be nice to do it here she's going to move them again up and down Renee wants to see them go one more time so let's celebrate with the Akita as the first of the shortlisted dogs Susan Sadler was our judge who sent this Akita through it's a male three three Eight six. This is another male. This is a bulldog sent through by David Rogers. Three five at six eight. And for the first time in the group proper at Windsor. This is the Eurasia and it's made the shortlist. So put your hands together for 3684. 
So this is the third of our males. We have another male coming up too. Only Patterson selection in the breed. It's a Kazon. Three nine three one. And it's another male. This is the Laza Apso. Four zero three one. Certainly looks as though the boys have got it tonight because they're all male in actual fact, just looking down the list. The first of our two poodles to make the shortlist is the miniature poodle, Bob Gregory's selection. 4103. A lovely day for Bob, another selection of his. 4179, the toy poodle. Completing the shortlist, this is the Tibetan Spaniel 4400 sent through by Helen Alme. So Renee has seen these eight dogs move again from a very strong utility group. The winner of the utility group, Windsor 2014, is... The Akita 3386. Second in the utility group is... It's the Toy Poodle, 4179. Third in the utility group is the Tibetan Spaniel, 4400. And fourth in the utility group, it's the Bulldog, 3568. And that's a popular group four. Well done to the Eurasia, the Kazan, the Lazarazzo, and the Miniature Poodle. Well done to the Akita. Congratulations to the Toy Poodle, the Tibetan Spaniel, and keeping up with them, the Bulldog. Many congratulations, Dave Killerly. This is the fourth group with Will I Am. Uh, came through from a breed specialist entry today under Sue Sadler. Right. Makes it all the, the more special, I suppose. Makes it better. She's been around from the very beginning. She's had the number one dog herself and she knows what a good Akita male looks like. Well, Rene certainly thought that today. Uh, he was going strong in there, um, even though he's been up very early today. Very early. He was up at about 10 past four in the paddock running before we loaded him in the van, then three and a half hours down here, and we're showing at what time is it now? 20 past four, so he's, he's kept up well. He does well for you, Dave, but it's got to be down to your hand that gets the best out of him. Oh, I don't know. Maybe my wife's grooming and preparation. I don't know. Everybody says it's a different thing. I've been handling a long time now, getting old. <laughs> like you just told me, you're 67. You know, of course, <laughs> <to> tell everybody. <laughs> well, many congratulations, Dave. Uh, we hope you keep going uh, till Sunday, anyway. <laughs> many thanks. See you then. Bye bye. So, Rennie, you've now judged three groups this weekend. Which was the one with the most quality for you so far? Well, I'd say that I was happy, really happy with the winners in in the Terry group today. I shouldn't say that was the best one, but almost. Almost. <laughs> almost, yes. Um, tell us about your, your winners so far. The PBGV was the first one. Well, that was really a cracker. Well presented, in lovely condition. I have an idea it might have been a young dog, but everything was there. And as soon as it came into the ring, you know, you, when you follow something around, so I thought that would be it. Um, and first of all today was the utility group and, and another young dog, the Akita. Yes, apparently a young dog again, and uh, beautiful. Really lovely, excellent movement and in super condition. And of course I could see it was a young dog. So apparently youth is paying off. <laughs> um, and why Fox Terrier wins the Terrier group? Tell us what you thought of him. Well, as I've been involved with Terriers, and Fox Terriers in particular when I was a child, mm. they were working ones. Right. But still, this is a really beautiful dog. It's so well balanced. A classic head, that expression. And you've now got three groups left and best in show. You're looking forward to the rest of your weekend? Of course I am. I mean, I have the opportunity to really judge the creme de la creme here. Yeah. I mean, you don't do that very often, so I am pleased. <laughs>
Welcome back to Around the Dog World on day three of Windsor Championship Dog Show. Bit of a damp squib, been raining just about all day. Working and pastoral groups in the ring tonight. First, the pastoral group judged by René Sporvillis. First off, it's the bearded collie. This was sent through to us by Alan Hood. This is a bitch. Five, five, nine, six. Sent through by Lynn Dumbra. This is the Grenendale. This is a male, five, seven, zero, seven. Sent through by Marilyn Scutton. This is a bitch, 5912, the best of breed winning Briar. <laughs> this is the bitch, the best of breed winning Hungarian Puli, 6174. <laughs> the German Shepherd Dog. Sent through by Vic Sort, the best of breed winning Norwegian Buhan, 6209 a male. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Bringing up the rear, it's a Samoyed. So we have five males and three females. Renee is going to have one last look at these eight shortlisted dogs. The winner of the pastoral group is. It's a Samoyed. Second in our pastoral group is. The Hungarian Puli. 6174. Third in our group. It's the Norwegian Boon. 62.09. And fourth, it's the German Shepherd Dog. 6143. Congratulations to the other four shortlisted dogs, but put your hands together for the fifth finalist at Windsor 2014, the Savoyer. Well, Andrew, you took a junior dog into the group ring tonight. Did you expect Jager to come out with a group win? No, I didn't expect him to come out with the group <laughs> win. <laughs> but he's a good dog. He's a very good dog, so I was hoping that we placed. He's a very young dog. What, what's he been doing before the group tonight? He's done quite a bit of winner and he's had a re really good uh, puppy career. I think he's only been beaten once since nine months old. Right. And he's had two best puppy in shows, five reserve tickets and a CC. Yeah. You, you can't really expect winning at this level with, a, with such a young dog. No, you don't expect it with a young dog. He's quite a mature young boy, but he's a really good young boy and he's so well balanced. And he's got a lot of style. Yeah. He has a lot of style. Samoyeds tend to have a bit of uh, extra style anyway, don't they? Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. And he lives with you. Tell us what he's like at home. Oh, he's an absolute joy to live with. He is. I've got two little ones at home. It's like having three kids, not just two. <laughs> to be quite honest, he gets right in, enjoys everything, enjoys family life. Absolutely fabulous. And you've done well to keep him dry today as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have a paranoia about that anyway, don't we? <laughs> The Alaska Malamute sent through by Lynn Salt. The second of the shortlisted dogs is the Bernese Mountain Dog. Sent through to us by Heather Head. This is another male for 614. Francis Kral was a judge of the Bouvier de Flandre. This is a male for 676. Now it's the turn of the Doberman. The selection of Debbie Stansbury. This is a male. 4938, the best of breed winning Dove de Bordeaux. Four nine eight seven, the best of breed winning Giant Schnauzer. 
with just two more to go. The Newfoundland, the choice of Lucinda Burgess. Bringing up the rear, it's the Rottweiler, set through to us by Robin Newhouse. And the winner of Windsor's Working Group 2014 is... It's the Alaskan Malamutes. Congratulations. 4558. Five, Second in the Working Group is the Doberman. Third in the Working Group. It's the Bernese Mountain Dog. 4614. And fourth in the Working Group is the Rottweiler. Five, three, five, seven. Well done to those other four shortlisted dogs. A huge congratulations to the Alaskan Malamute. Sue, Windsor must be a lucky show for you. You won the working group last year. Bart comes back and you've won it again. Indeed, last year we won the worker group and then we actually went reserve best in show. <laughs> and you seem to have a, I think about lucky shows. Bournemouth, you've been best in show three times. It's just amazing. I can't believe it myself. It's just wonderful. Tell us about Bart. What, what other winning has he done, apart from the group today? OK, well, this was his 12th CC today. He won the working group at Southern Counties um, and uh, um, a Finnish judge there. And then he also won the working group at Boston um, last year as well. Okay. Fantastic. And, and you've always got a, a very big team out with you as well. We have indeed. I mean, I obviously like to line breed myself and so we're always trying to bring on new stock, new puppies, you know, youngsters and everything. Yeah. Um, what's your plan now? You've, you've got a, one night. Does Bart need to be bathed again, exercise? What's, what's your plan? Well, I think we're going to relax for a couple of hours and then I think we need to sort of do some sprucing up and everything <laughs> and have a nice quiet night <laughs> ready for tomorrow. Renee, third day of Windsor judging for you. Um, it's obviously been a pleasure. You look like you're enjoying yourself in there. Oh, but <laughs> pastoral group was first today. Can I have your comments on that group, please? Well, first of all, they were very good quality. So I don't know whether you noticed, but I had them around an extra lope. And although I was quite sure in my mind what I wanted first, I really wanted to do a thorough thing. So. And it looked like your top four were all exceptionally good moving dogs as well. Yes, I'd say. And I mean, particularly in pastoral, that is where movement is so essential because that is what they're working with. And were you, were you impressed with the, the standard of grooming throughout the two groups as well? Absolutely. I mean, I was amazed considering the weather we've had. I mean, it was pouring down for hours. I don't know where they kept that Sammy, but it was absolutely <laughs> pearl white. It was. It was pristine, wasn't <laughs> yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Now, the second group that came in afterwards was the working group. Again, even if they are very big and heavy, they have to have the constructions to be able to move because otherwise... It's, it's a matter of the welfare for the dogs, really. And your thoughts on the Alaskan Malamute, the winner? Well, again, like the Sami, in absolutely beautiful condition, and the muscle tone, everything was there. Welcome back to day four of Windsor Championship Dog Show 2014. Now let's talk about day two. Yeah. So utility winner was this Akita yes. Will I Am. We've yes. seen him before on the programme. He's a favourite of this programme, isn't he? <laughs> he is. A dog we've liked, we've admired and pleased to see take that award. Um, just great condition, gleaming coat. Um, and didn't she impress you as the group judge? For Absolutely. All? She knows exactly what she wants. Rene also judged the Terriers. She did. And she chose, well, a very yeah. <laughs> well-known dog. We've seen a lot this year, yes. um, Oliver yeah. the Wire Fox. He stood away. He asks for it. Yeah. He's a great dog. We've then got a work in a pastoral group. That was judged yesterday. Yes. Uh, the pastoral group was first. Yes. And taking that was this beautiful Samoy that yes. we haven't seen before. Yes, he's got one ticket, I understand, but certainly one to knock. But that's a good kennel, Marina. We've admired her stock before, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, Dream, isn't yes. it? Yes, consistently breeds good stock. Um, and then after that, we had the working group. Yeah. Um, yeah. And topping the working group was this Alaskan Malamute. A very handsome, big male, upstanding. Yes, did everything he needed to do to win that group, didn't yeah. he? Well, we'll see what joins all those group winners in Best in Show. But first, we've got to go to the main ring to see what Renee chooses in her gun dog group. Sent through to us by Claire Sharp, the German wirehead pointer.
Jane Bennett's selection in the breed, the Gordon Setter. The choice of Ron Twyman, the pointer. The choice of Bart Van Maren, Audrey Richardson, the golden retriever. Sent through by Elaine Thomas, the American Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> Gordon Talbot chose the Clumber. Gary Notley was the judge of the English Springers. And bringing up the rear is the Spanish Water Dog sent through by Fiona Donaldson. So we have five males and three females. Very soon we will know the seventh and final dog compete for best in show. I think it's time to bring the balls into place while Rene has one final look. Good morning, everybody. This is the third edition of A Stockman's Eye. Um, this time we're being filmed, so possibly it might be my last. <laughs> now when they're made reasonably well and trained physically, like you would a gymnast, which is really all that dressage is, you end up with something that stays sound for a very great deal longer. And I also said she would catch some people out too, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> She's a good girl, are you are. She says, I know you love me, Auntie Patricia. Good old Buzz. Trick trot, trick trot. You can see that with the butcher's cart on the back, can't you? You know, what a fabulous walk. Final dog to compete for best in show. And the winner of the gun dog group, the Spanish water dog. Second in the group, the German wirehead pointer. Third in the group, the American cocker spaniel. Fourth in the group, the pointer. Well done to the four remaining shortlisted dogs, but huge congratulations to these four, in particular the Spanish Water Dog. Many congratulations, James. That was an incredible win for a breed that we never see feature much in the group placings at general champ shows, let alone win it. I mean, how do you feel? Uh, it's quite indescribable, really. Uh, he's, this is probably made breed history. He's the first Spanish water dog to win group one at a general championship show. So very, very proud and shocked, to yeah. say the very least. Now, now, you handle for Nigel, Jenny and Ben Eggington, who own the dog. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit about this one. Uh, he had a really good puppy career. I mean, he was top gun dog puppy overall for uh, last year and top rare breeds puppy overall. He'd had four puppy group placings at championship show level. Um, he's also won his class at the Spanish Monographica, which is the Spanish Water Dog Club Show of Spain, under a respected Spanish judge as well. So. 
He's uh, he's a little star, but he does have a, like like any Spanish water dog. He really has a mischievous streak, um, and he can really play the fool sometimes. You look like you had your hands full in some respects in there, but you held it together right to the end. Yeah, uh, he's he's a tough dog to work with, but so rewarding because when once once he focuses, he just gives it his all, and he really really just shows himself off as you've seen. The first of the groups judged at Windsor this year, the Hound Group winner, the Petit Batty Griffon Bondier, the Japanese Chin, judged on day one by Liz Stannard. Now it's the Peter, the winner of the Utility Group, followed by the winner of the Terrier Group, the Wirehaired Fox Terrier. Day three saw the Samoy top the Pastoral Group, and the Alaska Malamute. Topping the working group. The Spanish water dog winning the gun dog group. Eight thousand six hundred and twenty dogs over the seven groups. So this was Renee's choice in the Hound group, the first group judged at Windsor Windsor, and it was the Basset Griffon Vendian Petit to top one thousand two hundred and twenty one dogs in the Hound group. Sent through on the day by Jetta Vin Ramvard. This is number 156. This is a male. In fact, there are seven males here in the lineup. So I think our best in show judge likes the boys. So the toy group winner, the second group judged on the first day was a Japanese chin, judged by Liz Stannard. So this is the only dog new to Renee tonight. The toy group winner, the Japanese chin. This little fella beat 1,375 dogs to take the toy group on our first day. The first of the groups judged on the second day was the utility group, and it was this Akita, 3386, judged in the breed by Susan Sadler. The winner of the utility group, Windsor 2014, the Akita. On the table now, we see the winner of the Terrier group, the second group judged on our second day. The wire-haired fox terriers were judged by Marcia Foreman. The wire-haired fox terrier. The first of the groups judged yesterday was the pastoral group. It was the Samoyed who came out winning, judged by Lisa Brobrowski, the winner of the pastoral group, the Samoyed. <laughs> Can we have the seven puppy group winners, please, to the collecting ring immediately, please? The working group winner was the Alaskan Malamute, judged here yesterday by Lynn Salt. Just over a thousand working dogs here yesterday in this one. The Alaskan Malamute. <laughs> and as you've just seen, winning a really lovely gun dog group was this Spanish water dog. Judged today by Fiona Donaldson, topping the biggest group here at Windsor, the Spanish water dog. I think we can have the boards in place. And the best in show winner at Windsor 2014 is, it's the Samoyed. <laughs> Reserve best in show goes to the Wirehaired Fox Terrier. Well done to the other five group winners. A great result for these five lovely dogs, but superb and well done for the winner of the pastoral group, the Samoyed. Please put your hands together for our best in show winner and our reserve best in show winner, Windsor 2014, the Samoyed and the Wirehead Fox Terrier. Nick and Andrea, you were surprised yesterday going to the pastoral group. You went to the best in show ring. You must be overwhelmed. 
Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well worth the drive because we didn't get anywhere to stay, so we had to drive all the way back home and come back again today. He, he doesn't look any worse for it. No, actually, he doesn't. We were quite surprised because they do get tired the day after a show. They do sleep most of the day, and he's very young. Uh, but obviously, by the sound of him, no, he's not tired at all. No, no, he was pretty chilled out this morning. Actually, he was ready to go. Um, and the, the last dog we saw winning massively from your breeding was Hermione, Hermione. who was reserved best in short crafts. Right, yeah. So who knows what you can go on to? Well, that's right, yeah. We just have to wait and see. There's, I mean, there's some beautiful dogs, or some beautiful dogs for best in show. And no, we didn't expect to win. No. But we're just pleased not. to be in there. Yeah. Um, so what, what are Jaeger's plans now? He's a very young dog, so He's, what can he look forward to? Well, hopefully we need him made up first. <laughs> Three tickets would be nice. He has won. But like I say, he is very young, so yeah. we just sort of plod on. We just on, plod on, just go on and on and just see what transpires every time we go out. It's, it's just such a... I've never met a dog like it, and I don't think I'll ever meet another like it again, to be quite honest. He's one in a million, I think. Rene, you had seven gorgeous group winners there. Six of them you've obviously put through yourself. Just talk us through what you were thinking during that lineup. Well, let's say that when you have a challenge like this, with dogs of this absolutely superior type, movement, condition. I mean, it is actually a matter of separating hair. It was also a matter of looking at them and see, I mean, move the movement, everything that was on the second, that's what was counting. So um, the Sammy, which is I just heard is a very young dog and still performed absolutely to perfection. Uh, the wire is to die for. I mean, it's so beautiful. I just fell for the charm. <laughs> You've had uh, four days of, we've had pretty good weather. Um, I'm sure you're going to go home with some wonderful memories, but is there anything that sticks out from Windsor 2014 for you? Well, I think what sticks out is that I've had a marvellous time. I've had beautiful dogs. I mean, groups where you don't think, oh, well, that was difficult because it wasn't good, but of course it was excellent. You don't have that very often. Best in show at Windsor 2014 was Van Dream Imperial Cruise. A fantastic win for such a young Samway. Yeah, yeah. Stunning, wasn't he? Mm. He gleamed and he glistened. And then when he'd won, we'd got the, the typical Samway temperament, the bark, I'm here, I'm here, I've done it. No, I thought it was a lovely, lovely lineup. And Di, joining uh, all those six group winners at that final Best in Show there was the Spanish Water Dog, who come through from a huge group. There were 30 breeds in there tonight. And I have been critical of the Gundog group. It doesn't always impress. I thought it was one of the best Gundog groups tonight. And the shortlist was great, wasn't it? And there were even some breeds that missed out on the shortlist as well. Yes, there were. It was a very, very good group. Um, but he was a joy. To start, he's such a great little moving dog, and he's exciting, isn't he? Yeah. And all that playing about when he'd won, it, he puts you in a good mood, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's one of those breeds. And then reserve best in show was Oliver the Wire Fox. Yeah. Funnily enough, you said to me on the first day, is there anything to stop him? And of course there'll be dogs coming on, but you can't deny his excellence, can you? Mm. He he's, was so classy. Those two dogs really were a credit, weren't they? Yeah. Well, that's what we come for, to enjoy ourselves and to see good dogs. This show has given us that. Exactly. Well, thank you very much, Di. We'll speak to you again sometime soon, no doubt. Nice to see you. And Marina, it was very nice to have you back this weekend. Yeah, it's Are been we a gonna pleasure. Are we going to see you again? Yeah, I'm sure we will. Here and there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. No worries. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again on Around the Dog World at National Working and Pastoral Breeds.